Hi guys, guys. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. channel. Today we're going to be attempting to make a couple of horse jumps. Which we've salvaged out of some old wood that was going to be thrown in a jump. So we hope you enjoy. So guys, here's what we got to work with. We got two pallets which are painted. We've got some... a saw, a drill and some old pieces of scrap wood. So let's get to it. First of all, we went into the tack room to make up the plans of what jumps we're going to make and how we're going to make them. So we've come up with two ideas. So we're going to do a box and a triangle jump. Yeah, one, this is going to be the green palette and this is going to be the blue palette and we're going to put a pole on top so you can knock the jump. And sorry for the noise in the background, there's motorbikes going on. Yeah. But yeah, let's get building. First of all, we had to take apart the palette using a lever and hammer so it was in the right size to make the jump. Now that we've taken it apart, we can start to cut up the pallet into the right size for what we need to make the jump.
Then we took some of the planks we'd taken from the pallet, measured the length that we needed and started to cut it. separate pieces we need to put them side by side to make the box. First we put them up beside each other, got two small planks of wood and drilled them to the side to hold it together. Now we're just going to nail one more plank on top to make the frame sturdy and stronger so that it can hold up when we're putting it into the field.
There were some screws we hadn't been able to push all the way in with the normal drill, so we had to take out the rattle gun to push them all the way in. And here's the finished product. Now that our first jump is finished and looking great, we can move on to the next one. Here's the palette that we're going to work with. First, like the other one, we're just going to take it apart and then we can start to measure and cut. Then we had to take the nails out of the plank using the hammer. Then, like last time, we had to cut up the pallet into the right size.
Now for the last stages of the second project, we're going to get another couple of planks and drill it into the side so that it can hold it together. And that's the second jump finished. Well guys, we hope you enjoyed. We definitely had a lot of fun making those. And we'll be sure to test them out for you and video it in the near future. So you can see how they work. If you did, please like and subscribe. And comment down below any new videos or vlogs that you'd like to see. And, and we'll see you next week. week.